Their season has been ignored, but no longer. Their record has been minimized, but no more. Their presence on this fall's Los Angeles college football scene was completely overshadowed until Friday night, when the UCLA Bruins emerged from a cool darkness into the blinding brightness of legitimacy. Dorian Thompson Robinson hurdling. Zach Sharbnett sprinting. Jake Bobo bobbing. A defense swarming and slamming and suffocating. Yeah, they're pretty good. And, yeah, it's time to start paying attention. Oh At a Rose Bowl that rocked, against a team that had not previously cracked, UCLA stormed to the biggest win of the five-year Chip Kelly era, grabbing a 24-point lead then hung on to beat undefeated No. The 40-32 victory was a game not only about Chip, but Chips. I'm reading through all the articles throughout the whole week, people are saying that we're the worst 4-0 team out there, they're writing us off, said a horse quarterback Thompson Robinson after three hours of brilliance. My boys came in here with a chip on their shoulder. I think I told y'all on Monday, see if Washington can run with us, not the other way around. So that's my answer. That's my answer. It was truly quite the response. In their first game against a credible Power 5 opponent, the Bruins hurdled skepticism like Thompson Robinson leaped over a stunned Washington defender. In their first game on national television, the Bruins blew past the jokes like Thompson Robinson juked two Washington defenders into colliding into an embarrassing heap on a two-yard touchdown run. In yet another opportunity to blow a big moment as this program has done so often, the Bruins held firm, converting two third downs in the final minutes while rolling downfield for a final drive to end it.